Grade 3 Math, Lesson 19, Mental Math with Subtraction. You can do mental math, math in your head, when you subtract, even if you have to borrow. Let me show you. If you have a subtraction problem like this one, you can pretty much do that in your head. 60 take away 50 is 10. That would be an easy one to do. This one's just a little bit easier uh, a little bit harder than this one. It's only a little easy because it's got numbers in the ones columns, but they're the same number, so it's still a little easy. 68 minus 58, it's 10. There's a 10 difference. So that's not that hard. But what happens when you have a problem like this and you need to do it in your head? 66 minus 17, well, you can't have 6 and take 7 away, so you'd have to borrow. It's a little hard to do in your head. So we have a trick. What we do is we ask ourselves, what does the 17 need to be an easier number, like 20? So let's do it with this one, 16 minus 7. What does 7 need to be an easier number, like 10? You need to add 3. So what you do is, the top one is jealous. He wants to be added 3 also. So that becomes a 10, that becomes a 19, and then you have 19 take away 10, which is a lot easier to do in your head, and the answer is 9. The answer is 9 to this one too, but it was easier to do it this way. So, what you ask yourself is, how many more does the subtrahend need to be a friendlier number? You add that number to both the subtrahend and the minuen, and then you subtract. So remember, this is the minuen, this is the subtrahend, and that's the difference. So, you find out what the subtrahend needs to be an easier, friendlier number, you add that amount to it, and then you add that amount to the minuend also, because it's jealous, it wants the same amount. Then you do your subtraction. So let's ask ourselves, 72 minus 28, what does 28 need to be 30, a friendlier number? You need to add 2. So you add 2 to the top one. So instead of 72 minus 28, you get 74, see, two more, 72, 73, 74, minus 30. See, 28, add 2, 29, 30. 74 minus 30 is easier. It's easier to do in your head. Try this one. What does this 49 need to be a 50, an easier number? It just needs one more, 49, 50. So we'll add one more to the 81, 81, 82. Now you could do that in your head. 82 minus 50 is 32. That's a little easier to imagine than borrowing. Let's try one more time, one last time. What does the subtrahend 17 need to be a 20, an easier number to subtract? It needs 3, 17, 18, 19, 20. The top gets jealous. The 66 wants 3 also. He becomes a 69. Now you have 69 minus 20. That's a lot easier to subtract than the borrowing one. 69 minus 20 is 49. So guess what? That means this one's 49 also. We would have had to borrow. That would have been a 5. That would have been 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. 5 minus 1 is 4. This way's easier. And you can do it a little quicker in your head if you have to. So that's one trick to do mental math with subtraction when you're borrowing. To go a little quicker, do it a little easier. You don't need a calculator. You're smart enough to do this in your head. You really are. You'll do fine. I'll see you in the next lesson.